is the diploma to degree mode of application so the entry type i am going to indicate diploma slash hnd to degree with wasi slash sse my application type i'm going to click on diploma to degree hello viewers welcome back to the channel ghana university application tips and the goal of this channel is to assist all prospective applicants gain admissions successfully into the best tertiary institutions in ghana so i'll urge you all to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the bright side of gaining admissions so the university of ghana offers diploma to degree top-up programs for individuals who have completed a diploma or a high national diploma in a relevant field of study and wish to obtain a bachelor's degree and further to their master's or even their post-doctorate degree. These programs provide an opportunity for students to build on their existing knowledge and skills and further their education. The Diploma to Degree top-up programs at the University of Ghana are offered in a variety of disciplines including accounting, business administration, computer science, economics, information technology, nursing and midwifery, psychology, public administration and social work. To be eligible for the Diploma to Degree Topper programs, applicants must have completed a relevant diploma or HND with at least a second class lower division or its equivalent from a recognized institution. The duration of the Diploma to Degree Topper programs at the University of Ghana varies depending on the program of study. Generally, the programs take two academic years, which is four semesters, to complete. Students are required to take courses in their chosen field of study and must meet the minimum credit requirements for graduation. Upon successful completion of the program, graduates are awarded a bachelor's degree from the University of Ghana. This degree is recognized both locally and internationally and provides graduates with a competitive edge in the job market. Overall, the Diploma to Degree top-up programs at the University of Ghana is an excellent opportunity for individuals with diplomas or HND to further their education and enhance their career prospects. So if you are interested in applying for one of these programs, be sure to check the eligibility requirements and application process on the University of Ghana's website. Welcome back once again to the part two of the diploma to degree top up application process. In the first part, I took you through the requirements to gain your admissions to level 300 at the University of Ghana if you hold an HND or a diploma from any accredited institution in Ghana. So the second part, I am going to take you through the application process that is how to apply using your diploma qualification or your HND qualification for the available programs at the University of Ghana. So you purchase your e-voucher at the bank and with your e-voucher credentials you enter your serial number as well as your PIN number. So I'm going to do that right away by entering my serial number and my PIN number.
So after indicating your serial number and your PIN number, you click on the login to enter into your application portal. And with the case, if you forget your PIN number, you can also click on the forget PIN to retrieve your PIN number. So this is the application interface where we have the bio data, the entry information, educational background, program information, supporting documents, passport summary, as well as your proof of your application. So we are going to fill out our bio data. Gender, I'm going to select male. I'm going to enter my date of birth. Country of residence, I'm going to indicate Ghana. Nationality, I'm going to indicate Ghana. Hometown Osu, region of hometown Greater Accra region, religious denomination Christian, my marital status is single, my care of address, I'm going to use that of my sibling. And my sibling's name is Samuel Mensa. And you should also kindly take note that this is just a sample application. So the biographical data indicated is not actually my real biographical data. The post office box number. I'm going to indicate my post office box number. The town is Cantonment, Accra. So that of your Ghana Post GPS as well as your Ghana card, it's optional. So if you don't have it at the moment, you can decide to leave it blank and come back and fill it after us. With my street address, I'm going to indicate Accra Street. My mobile phone number, I'm going to indicate my dummy phone number. My email address, I'm going to indicate a dummy email address. With regards to the details of my sponsoring of studies, I'm going to indicate Kelvin Mensa as my sponsor. The address is the same address, so I'm going to copy my PO Box CT111 into that of my address for sponsor and the telephone number I'm going to indicate a dummy telephone number for that of my sponsor as well the name of parent and guardian I can still indicate Kevin Mensa as my parent or guardian the address I'm going to indicate the same address occupation of parent and guardian i'm going to indicate self employed
and his telephone number is the same as that of my sponsor which is still the same Kevin Mensa. Under the sports information, did you participate in sports from SHS zonal level or above? I'm going to indicate no. Do you have any physical disability? I'm going to indicate no. Are you currently employed? I'm also going to indicate no. So when you are done filling your bio data, you quickly glance through and make sure whatever you have filled is as correct and accurate as possible. So when you are done, you click on the save and continue and move on to the next application process. The next category is the entry information page and in this page you have the entry year as well as the offering type and mind you your application is the diploma to degree mode of application so the entry type I am going to indicate diploma slash HND to degree with WASI slash SSE my application type i'm going to click on diploma to degree and the entry year i'm going to indicate 2023-2024 as my entry year and i click on save and continue so we move on to the educational background category and the first question is that have you ever been to secondary school before i'm going to say yes the region of the secondary school i'm going to indicate a region like ahafo the name of the secondary school i'm going to indicate garden city community college kenyase and i attended my secondary school from 2009 to 2012 my qualification is wasi my mode of application i'm going to click on ADA, and my specification is diploma to degree so i'm going to enter diploma to degree have you ever attended university of ghana or any other tertiary before i'm going to say yes and the previous tertiary i'm going to indicate my previous tertiary institution and i'm going to indicate my tertiary institution as the accra polytechnic it is now also known as the accra technical university and the year i am going to indicate from 2018 to 2021 and I'm going to indicate my student number as 1234 and my reason for leaving was that I was able to complete my HND and the degree awarded I'm going to indicate HND the class of my degree was a second class lower and the grade point I obtained was a 3.5 With my WASI details, the month I'm going to indicate May, June. The year I'm going to indicate 2015. The exam type WASI. The candidate number. And confirm my second candidate number. So let's quickly glance through the educational background details and as indicated i was able to fill out my secondary school attended my past tertiary school attended as well as my wasi credentials so upon filling this part of the application you click on the save and continue and move to the next application portal So this is where you are to select your diploma to degree program of choice. So I'm going to take you through all the 
programs which is being offered at the University of Ghana by campus. So we start with the Legon campus and the programs offered are the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Science in Administration, the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. So when you click on the Bachelor of Arts, you'll be able to select your bouquet options which is Information Studies, Study of Religions, Sociology, Social Work, Study of Religions, Adult Education, as well as Study of Religions and Spanish. You click on the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration if you have an HND in programs like Marketing, Accounting, Public Administration, Secretariatship, and many others as indicated in my part one video. You also click on the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture if you have an HND in Agriculture as well as the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine if you have a certificate in Animal Science. We move on to the Kolebu campus and we have the Bachelor of Public Health, the Bachelor of Science in Midwifery, the Bachelor of Science in Nursing as well as the Bachelor of Science in Radiography. So if you have a diploma in this field, you can apply to do your top-up degree at the University of Ghana. And mind you, as indicated in my first video, University of Ghana does not consider certificate in nursing as well as the certificate in medical. They consider the three-year midwifery diploma and a three-year nursing diploma from a recognized training institution and that of the Bachelor of Public Health you need to be recommended by the Ghana Health Service in order to gain admissions to read the Bachelor of Public Health at the University of Ghana and the same as the Bachelor of Science in Radiography. Looking at programs at the Accra City campus, we have the Bachelor of Arts as well as the Bachelor of Science in Administration. So when you click on the Bachelor of Arts, you realize there is programs like Information Studies, Adult Education, as well as Study of Religions and Adult Education. Moving on to the Distance Program option, you are allowed to choose your center of study any of the regional learning centers from Accra, Bogatanga, all the way to Wa. So I'm going to select Accra. And the program choice, we have the Bachelor of Arts as well as the Bachelor of Science in Administration and the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. So let's assume I pursued an HND in Marketing which falls under the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and my grade point was a 3.5 which which falls within the second class division so i'm going to select the bachelor of science in business administration and i save and continue my application So moving on to the next application process is to download all your supporting documents and for the diploma to degree option the supporting documents that is required mainly by the University of Ghana is your HND certificate, your HND transcript and any other supporting document that can further process your application. So let's click on the add supporting documents the document type we are going to indicate certificate we click on choose documents to upload our document So it's a success.
so upon uploading my certificate i'm also going to upload another document which is my transcripts So I click on transcript for undergraduate studies, click on choose document and upload my HND transcripts. So these are the two main documents I am required to upload, which is my certificate and my transcript for the higher national diploma level. And I click on continue to upload my passport size photograph so in order to upload your passport size photograph you need a maximum dimension of 300 pixels by 800 pixels and a minimum dimension of 100 pixels by 100 pixels and you should take note that the background should be a white background and you should take note that the background of your passport picture should be white. So in order to get a correct dimension specified by the University of Ghana, I'm going to use the photo tool to help me crop my passport size image. And I click on click to browse image. So the image has been uploaded and I'm going to crop the image to fit the dimension which best suits me and I click on the correct sign at the top right corner of the interface and I re-download this image. So when I'm done downloading the image, I go back and click on drag image or click to upload passport photo and I click on my new crop photograph to upload the correct dimension. So when I'm done, I click on save and continue and the information saved successfully. I also click on continue to my application summary Thank you, sir. you should also take note that the deadline for this type of application falls on the 30th of June 2023. So hurry up and buy the forms and apply as soon as possible. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this video from the beginning to the end. Kindly subscribe to the channel, add your comments and I'll see you in the upcoming video.